So right out of the gate, none of what you have seen in the photo uh, for this video in the thumbnail do you actually need to build barn doors. You don't need a hard hat, you don't need uh, wrenches normally, and you don't need sunglasses unless you're working outside. But that is what I want to share with you today. Uh, when I was remodeling my basement, I actually built three barn doors, and I want to break down how I built those barn doors, share a couple tips and tricks with you, and share a link to a blog that I found to be very helpful when I was doing that work. So stay tuned. More fun ahead. Just remember, I am an engineer and not a photographer. This is not my daily profession. However, uh, getting back on point and on topic, this picture that you see here is actually a picture of the closet doors that I built. A couple key points on that, I've, I've put a link in the description below to the Genesu design blog, and that was actually the blog that I used for the base plans. I did make a couple tweaks here and there uh, in order to meet my needs. The biggest change that I made is that on that blog, Genesu design blog, she calls for using one by boards in order to build the door. I used uh, my special ability, uh, you know, the dark arts, it's called math. And when I, when I used math, I realized I could buy a eight foot long piece of plywood for about $40. And it was gonna cost me around $120 to buy the individual one by boards. So instead of buying the individual one by boards, since I had a table saw and I had a father that would help me make sure I made straight cuts, um, I did, phone a friend and get a favor from my father and he's going to be mad that I called him my friend because he's a parent. Uh, but my dad helped me cut the wood um, and I was actually able to use that three quarter inch wood for the uh, pieces that make up the door. What I will say is a lot of your uh, home improvement stores like Lowe's and Home Depot, if you pay a small fee, might actually help you cut the wood. It just pays to ask and sometimes it's as cheap as 25 cents a cut. So that's something to look into, and that can definitely save you some money in the long run. What you're seeing here is an Ethan Parker original photo of the door. It's the same two doors. I just took more of a portrait view so you could, you know, take in the height of the doors themselves. The hardware that I use for the doors uh, is actually available on Amazon, and I've put a couple of links to both the handles as well as the sliding rails. Um, into the description of this video. The biggest point about that is you wanna make sure that when you're hanging the door, when you're installing these rails, that you're drilling into studs or you're using some sort of drywall anchor to make sure that those sliding rails are going to stay in place. You also wanna make sure that the door itself is going to be level because if the door is not level and it's unlevel, and you would run into this problem even if it was a door that you had already bought, but if that door is not level, it's going to close on its own or it's gonna be very difficult to close. And even worse, when you close it, it might even come open. So the door that you're seeing now is the third barn door that I built. It's actually the door for the bathroom. It's a little bit larger than the other two doors. It's, it's right at 36 inches wide. And it, it's really nice when you have a paint sprayer because it can really speed up the process of painting the door and get into all the nooks and crannies. But if you didn't have a paint sprayer, you could easily just use a roller and maybe a brush to be able to make sure that you get good coverage across the door. So while we're looking at this image, this beautiful portrait image of the uh, barn door for the restroom, I wanted to kind of talk through some of the numbers behind this. I calculated that I was able to build, once again using that dark art called math, I was able to build all three of these doors, hardware included and material, for right at $200. Now obviously that does not include all of the blood, sweat and tears, the time that went into the doors, uh, but $200 is a pretty good deal because when I was looking to buy barn doors that were already made, it was looking to be about $400 a piece. So all total for the closet and for the bathroom, I calculated it would be a little over $800 for me to buy the doors. So that's right at a $600 savings by spending the time and just building the doors myself. So I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you uh, can apply some of this barn door knowledge to your own home. I know barn doors can be very pricey and this was a low cost alternative to, to buying a barn door. It does require a little blood, sweat and tears, but at the end of the day, uh, it's, it's really not that bad. 
I'm wearing my classic flannel shirt. I, I call it the Norm Abram shirt. If you're familiar with the New Yankee Workshop on PBS, saw that many a time growing up as a, as a kid. If you like the content, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video if you like the barn doors or if you like you know, my non-beautiful face or anything like that, please leave a like. And if you have any comments or questions, greatest place to put those are in the comments down below. Thanks for watching the video.